How to get what you want quicker. Why success, have you ever wondered, sometimes so short-lived? You go for something, you create something, you, you do that project, you have that achievement, but then it doesn't seem to last. Have you ever wondered why that could be? I will explain to you in this short video why that is happening. Here is the pattern. You go for what you want. There's the target. There you are. And you get it. Yay, well done. But it doesn't last. And then you potentially lose it. And you feel like you're going back to square one. There's so much languaging around that. It's back to the drawing board or two steps forward and one step back. So then when you get back to that place again, you start all over again, you dust yourself off like the little red hen in the story and you start all over again. And there you go, you start all over again. You go for what you want again, there's the target, there's the outcome. And you get it, but once again, it doesn't last. Can you see that there's a pattern happening? And once again, you go back to the drawing board, back to the beginning. Deja vu, Groundhog Day. And then you perhaps take it personally and maybe start to blame yourself for that. Eventually you might come to an effort point and then when the effort bit lasts a bit too long and gets too uncomfortable, you start to be more positive or more grateful, but then when that doesn't really work and achieve the outcome that you want, you go back to effort. But then spend too long at effort and then you think, I need to believe in myself. So you do some belief work and you mindset yourself out of your mind. And when you do, you go back to effort. Ah, it's exhausting even telling you about it. Then you get up, dust yourself down and go for what you want again again that's the target there you go but uh, getting tiring now get up again up you get up you get go for it you can do it you got this so you go up and you go for it again 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 we're on round three ding dong but then you get tired of being tired but you've tried and tried and tried why isn't it working or why does it work a bit but why doesn't it ongoingly work why isn't it sustainable in fact why isn't success sustainable this is what we are going to look at today and i'm going to answer the question at the end of this video so there's the pattern are you getting the pattern you go for what you want again 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 round four ding dong but you start to really doubt yourself. <sighs> Deep breath. You go for what you want. Again, 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 again. Or as my little friend says, again. And then you just conclude, you know what? You win some, you lose some. You lose some, you win some. You win some and you lose some. Look, there's a pattern. There's a pattern. It's a seesaw. Up, down, win some, you lose some, you win some. It's the same with weight. For some people, it is with me. You gain some weight, you lose some weight. You gain weight, you lose weight. It's often the case with money. Burns a hole in my pocket and then I have money and then I spend it. Perhaps with love. One minute you're in love and you're in a relationship and then out of favor. Here's another pattern, success. You have success, you may have been successful in the past, but it doesn't last and then you seem to lose it. Ultimately, happy. 
He used to be so happy. And now, meh. Why does this happen? Why, oh, why? Here's a pattern. It's a seesaw pattern. It goes up and down. Up and down. Look. Seesaw, seesaw. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Can you relate to this with some of the projects that you've been attempting to lift off in your life and they seem to go up and down? Perhaps sometimes this is an invisible pattern that is operating. So what does that mean? How does it actually operate? Robert Fritz in the 1970s asserted in his book, The Path of Least Resistance, that energy follows the path of least resistance. Energy follows the path of least resistance. So what does that mean here? In this example, the water here, this beautiful, lovely waterfall, follows the river bank, the banks of the water, and it collects in the outcome place here. So the path of least resistance here in this beautiful example in nature is created by the underlying structure. So Robert Fritz asserted that the underlying structure defines the behavior of what goes down it. In this case, the underlying structure of the riverbank determines and defines the behavior of the water. Let's look a little bit further at that. So the underlying structure here is the riverbank defines the behavior of the water. So imagine if you change the properties of the water, so if you put glitter in the water and if you put lovely pink ink into the water and you, you said happy things to the water, would it influence the outcome of the water? Would it make any difference as to where it comes out? In other words, the behavior, yes or no? Conversely, if the water had, imagine, had really, this is a metaphor now, if the water had really bad attitude, bad mindset, and you put some brown colored dye in the water, would it affect or influence the outcome of the water? Yes or no? So the answer is no, it wouldn't, because it's the underlying structure that defines the behavior, not the thing that's going down it. The thing in this case is water, but in the human experience, it's you doing your project. So why is success sometimes short-lived? It's because it's the underlying structure Ta-ta, the big aha moment. The underlying structure is defining the outcome, defines the behavior. What does that mean? It means that the underlying structure is defining the outcome, not you. Not you. <coughs> not you. What does that mean? It means that success is structural, not personal. Success is structural, it means it's based on the structure, the underlying structure that you are running your activities and your projects on, not you personally. Let's look at that in a bit more detail. Here's the pattern. Here you are going for what you want to create, for your outcome, for your target. There you go. But... What's causing the seesaw pattern? There is an invisible force that seems to pull you back. Perhaps it's the saboteur, and actually the saboteur is a real thing. And this is explaining or pointing to what could that be? Because that invisible force has you in a, a pull back away from what you want. So what happens is, imagine these are elastic bands. There you are, there's what you want. So you go for what you want, but when you do, 
there's an invisible force that has more tension that's pulling you back. The closer you get to what you want, this is critical, please hear this. The closer you get to what you want, there's less tension here. This is just physics. This is structural dynamics. There's less tension here and there's more tension here. So what happens is you go all the way back to where you began. And that's why that same SH1T different day keeps happening. Here's another way of looking at it. Structure has integrity. What does that mean? There's the structure. Imagine it looks a little bit like a, a football post or a rugby eagle. And there is a little, there's a person and there's the elastic band. So imagine on that side is what you want and on the other side is what you don't want. So that's what causes the seesaw pattern, the up, down, up, down, failure, success, failure, success, win some, you lose some, win some, you lose some. Why? Because it's the underlying structure that's creating the behavior, which means that success is structural, not personal, because energy follows the path of least resistance. So how do you change that pattern if some of the projects that you really care about that you are building keep seesawing and are not going as fast as you would like them or at all wouldn't it be good if you could identify what that invisible force was so that you could take it off take it off the table because if you could do that here's what would happen you'd get into a different pattern You'd get off the seesaw pattern, you'd get off the seesaw, and you would go for what you want, and you would get there. And when you get there, look here, there's nothing to pull you back. Look, because you've, you've got rid of that, that's no longer there. So that would mean you get to your target destination, and then you create another target, you would get there, and onwards and onwards. So that would mean you'd get off the, the seesaw, that keeps going tick tock, tick tock, you get there but then you don't, you win it until you lose it, you gain it until it gets taken away from you from mysterious reasons that you haven't been able to understand and of course all of that mindset work and all of that believing in yourself work and all of that positive thinking and all of that self-esteem work as we have seen and it, you can prove it with nature it doesn't touch the, it doesn't influence the outcome. Why? Because it's the underlying pattern that is the underlying pattern, the underlying structure that is doing that. So what is that invisible force that is stopping you from creating what you want quicker? What is it? You need to know what that is. So before I tell you, what do you think it is? <clears throat> Don't know? Or you, you have a hunch? You have an idea? Okay, this invisible force here that is causing the sabotage patterns, and the saboteur is real, is identity. This invisible force here is identity. So what does that mean? It's what you make your any stage of your journey mean about you. Identity is what you make anything mean about you personally. In other words, it's how you take something personally or how you make something personal. Now the thing is, here's crucial, please listen to this, it's important for you to get your results quicker. If you take that off your creation table, you can just keep going. And your identity and what you believe about yourself in terms of creating what you want has got nothing to do with your creation process, which means that you can create what you want quicker. It means that you go from A to B 
faster. My invitation to you is to join us for our weekly life coaching on the genius journey to learn structures for success for yourself. Learn how to get from A to B faster and learn that success is not personal. By success I mean creating things that matter to you creating the outcomes that you want. Maybe it's your own business. Maybe you're a musician and you want to create records. Maybe records, that's how old I am. I'm 50. Maybe you want to create your music. Maybe you want to do more gigs. Maybe you want to teach and influence and empower people through music. Maybe you're a coach. Maybe you really want to help people in the unique way that you can do that, in the unique way that you can share your wisdom and all of your life lessons with people that you know that you can help people. Maybe you want to get that advancing in an advancing pattern. Maybe you have a, a passion project. Maybe you have an artistic pursuit that you really, really want to advance. You really want to move forward. How to get from A to B faster. How to create things in your life and build a life that really works for you using structures for success because once you learn how to work with an advancing structure with a wheel instead of with a seesaw you will learn how to start get from A to B quicker and keep going and then create the next B point and keep going and learn and grow and evolve and evolve and learn how to not take that personally not make that mean anything about yourself and take yourself off your creation table so that you can relax, breathe and do what you do even more powerfully, even more effectively and more joyfully. Join us at the Genius Journey. Let's do it together. It's much more fun together. We have a really great time. It's every week live coaching. There is already a video library of a year of videos. That's 52 tutorials already up there. It's not a new thing. There's 15 audio adventures. There's as many processes that are written down that will support you every step of your way. Get from A to B faster. Learn structures for success.